Today, we'll start at the University of Maryland in College Park, where the Tri Delta Sorority has invited me to teach a new class, Picnic Tables 101. Welcome hey, to Delta, Lord. Delta, Delta. Oh, Come it's on a pleasure in. to be here. Look, wow, I've never had a welcome <laughs> sign like this before. Did you do this yourself? No, we had a little help. You did, huh? Mm -hmm. A little help from the girls of Delta, Delta, Delta. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, I understand we're going to build some picnic tables mm -hmm. because you have no place to eat. Well, no place to eat outside yet. We have places inside. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> did the materials get here? Uh -huh. Where are they? Out okay, back. let's go look, huh? How many, how many of you have had like no experience whatsoever with tools or building or anything like that? Okay, so, so tell me how you look, what do you, how are you feeling about uh, doing this today? I'm excited to learn. Okay, so Lauren, what, what are you mostly concerned about in terms of getting hurt? <laughs> well, I guess like I don't want to cut my finger off or like damage my eyes. Okay. This won't help your fingers, but it will help your eyes, okay? okay? The fingers we're just going to keep out of the way. I mean, does it seem intimidating? Does it seem like, eh, it's, you know, this is it, this is simple? Intimidating. Intimidating. Yeah? yeah. It seems like something that you just have to do. You have to do? <laughs> so what, but what happened to this idea of just, you know, marrying a guy who could, uh, had all the know-how and the, brought the tools with him? Well, not today. We're uh -huh. 90s women here. <laughs> try it out. <laughs> okay, 90s women. Uh, this is what the finished product is going to look like right here, and we're going to make it all out of the lumber you're sitting on over here. It's all basically the same lumber, two by six. Uh, we're going to start by building these end frames right here, they're sort of like triangles. We'll bolt these together. And we're going to stand them up vertically, and we're going to put on a couple of bench boards, and then the top boards, and then finally these little braces underneath here. So uh, you want to start? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll try to cut everything first and then bolt it together. So let's go over here, that's the uh, saw. Okay, so this is called a power miter box. Uh, it'll do a couple things. First of all, we move right from the lecture to the lab. The power tools course begins with a lesson on making straight cuts. Goggles on, everybody. After a demonstration by the visiting professor of construction, it's time for the Tridels to raise a little sawdust. Okay, excellent. Just keep your thumb, keep your thumb down a little bit. I'll tell you, these women are quick studies. Is that good? Aces. Bring your tape out as close. Most of our pieces will require angled cuts, so it's time for lesson number two. Katie measures and marks the angle to cut on the lumber according to the diagram. Then Lindsay Adjust learns it. to use the bevel gauge so that she can transfer that angle to the power miter saw. It. Pull it up. Up. There you go. And then slide it sideways. There you go. Okay. And then just push the handle down. Let it lock it. This is a stop here. Because the three tables we're building have identical pieces, we'll set up a stop on the saw that speeds up the process and ensures that all of the parts will be exactly the same length. One foot and 11 sixteenths inch overhang. Does that make With sense? a lumber cut, Lindsay leads the group in assembling the tabletop and bench supports onto the legs. Once completed, these pieces will make up the end frame. We've made a work table from plywood and sawhorses. As we set up our first assembly, the girls mark off the exact location for all of the parts. Now, all we have to do for the next five frames is line up the pieces. Okay, the next thing we have to do is drill holes. Ron? The next portion of our class covers drilling, and lots of it. But before bolting our end units together, they must first be assembled with screws. The first holes that we drill, called clearance holes, are slightly larger than the screw. Then we'll drive screws through that hole and into the piece that we're going to attach. There you go. Woo! Drilling the holes for the carriage bolts requires a little more muscle power. They're larger and they must go clear through both pieces of lumber. Though this process shook her up a bit, this Lindsay's hard work paid off. Yeah! And I gave her an A plus for effort. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Woo! Okay, this is, our, uh, this is the first of the ends that we've constructed here. And while they're holding themselves together, we need to reinforce them with these carriage bolts. The carriage bolts are doing the real work in holding the end frame together. Now here's a tip. Putting the smooth bolt head on the inside will keep your legs from getting scratched. 
After adding a wash or a nut, we'll snug it tight with a socket wrench. Setting the first plank for the tabletop in place had the Delta singing. But it was time for more clearance holes and more screws. Music class, I guess we'll have to wait for a while. Well, the tri delts are doing a great job, and they've gotten power tools down to a science. But there's always time for a tip from the professor. Yeah. Put this hand up on the top, okay. and then kind of, you can actually kind of lean on this a little bit. <laughs> Quarter inch spacers ensure okay. that the planks will be nice and even. Now we've got an assembly line going, which speeds things up. Like a finely tuned machine. <laughs> and the tabletop is put together in no time. <laughs> the benches are next. We'll make sure the outside board overhangs the supports evenly on both ends and the sides. The combination square keeps the offset consistent. We're going to come right up on its side. Well, the sorority project is almost complete. It looks great, but the table still seems a little shaky. So our next step is to add some bracing to the underside. Adding one more brace right here, the one you've got in your hand. One of these on each side, and we'll be ready for a picnic. Would you believe it? From this to this in just a few hours. I've got one more piece of homework for you, though, guys. Uh, tomorrow, when it's nice and sunny, put some sealer on here. It'll keep it in good shape and keep it looking good. And uh, I gotta tell you, the tri get very, very high marks in my book for picnic table building. Thanks so much for having me over. <laughs>